Hello everyone and thank you for joining me. Today I am having a look at another Schneider fountain pen that I have purchased on uh, AliExpress last year. I paid around uh, 15 Canadian dollars plus an additional uh, 250 Canadian dollars for shipping. I was intrigued by the available colors and the shape that it has. Um, I haven't had the chance to use it yet so hopefully everything will uh, work out okay. The fountain pen does come in a very nice case. I do not have it anymore since my little one took it away from me because she well, really liked the case and have no idea where it uh, end up. Probably it's filled uh, with some LOL uh, mini dolls or something like that somewhere in the house. I can however show you a picture of how it looks like. A very well designed I would say and I guess elegant to a degree. Having a closer look at the pen well, the pen is mostly uh, made out of plastic with the exception of the clip as far as I can tell and uh, it does have uh, this nice uh, translucent look to it. We do have a sort of a top finial that actually that's the uh, inner liner that it's inside uh, the pen. Then we have a very interesting um, clip and the way it's built. It's pretty much a flat uh, piece of metal but it's very interesting and seems to be very functional. Doing a quick test shirt just slides over the cloth very easily, no issue in there. And slides out just as nice. It doesn't clip on the cloth that uh, strong but at the same time seems to be quite uh, springy so I doubt there'll be any issues with uh, coming off uh, unintentionally. On the cap, on the side of the cap, we have uh, Schneider, made in Germany. On the side, we also have Germany. And we have some um, ribs, I guess uh, you would call it, or ridges uh, in, the, um, in the plastic. This uh, seems to be injection molded. You can see uh, the uh, mark between the two plates that uh, were put together. Small step down between the cap and the barrel, fairly straight uh, barrel, ends flat and uh, there are some grooves in there and uh, there are some um, air holes in there so you would uh, most probably not be able to eye drop this fountain pen. The cap pull push type very easily and secure at the same time, no issues. Removing the cap will uh, basically reveal a uh, plastic section that kind of has a tripod shape to it. It's not very um, pronounced and it's a little bit rounded however it's still there. Definitely helps you with uh, finding your fingers on that section. A very interesting Schneider nib with uh, the logo on top of it and the size uh, of it on the side. In my case this is an extra fine. Interesting feed. Very simple and clean. No issues there. The barrel comes up very nicely. Twist to open obviously. You are, we have uh, plastic threads on plastic threads. Very smooth threads, no issue. This converter does not come included with the fountain pen. This is something that I've added. When uh, you purchase the fountain pen it does come with one cartridge in the barrel. And like I mentioned, construction of uh, the, the, the barrel, it's very simple, very clean, uh, nothing special to talk about. I didn't took any uh, videos from inside of it because, well, being translucent, you can pretty much see everything inside the fountain pen. I have not attempted to remove the feed and uh, the nib, but uh, based on uh, how, what I see, they seems to be press fitted in there, so most probably they can be removed. But... Uh, you might have to put a little bit of effort in it. One thing that I like about the cap is that uh, basically this uh, top finial, which like I mentioned, it's pretty much the inner liner, can be pushed out for uh, easy cleaning. However, it's a little bit of um, nuisance and you have to pay attention on how you align it when you put it back. I usually use a long dowel as you can see and then slowly try to match up the angle of the inner liner on the doll with the cap. There is a little bit of fiddling around but 
you can get in there very easily or at least uh, relatively easily in hand the fundament feels actually very nice i like it um, there is a little bit of a sharp edge here on the barrel uh, at the end of it um, it doesn't bother me however depending on your hand uh, grip and how you hold it or how tight you hold it it might bother you i think i can find my my way around this so personally i can't complain that much about it balance wise pretty much in the middle of the pan considering that i do have a converter inside of it lengthwise it's actually good length unposted however if you need to the pen does post and post actually very uh deep and secure pretty much all the way to the edge of the inner liner on the cap and it will definitely make the fountain pen longer um it doesn't bother me posted it does make it a little bit uh back or top heavy smaller hands you might feel that for my hand the weight is just a little bit above my knuckle however i still find it okay i don't think it's uncomfortable i do not know how i would like to use it it feels lighter without the cap on so that might give you more freedom if you do quick sketches posted i don't know I'll have to experiment and uh, I'll let you know. So this is the fundament. Not much else to add. What you see, it's what you get. Uh, and you can pretty much see anything uh, you want to, including the insides of it, because of its uh, translucent uh, design. Anyway, let me go ink it up. I'll come back with a writing sample and then hopefully I'll do a nice sketch with it. For uh, today's ink, I decided to go back and use the uh, Ban Me uh, Black, Permanent Black, or also called Cold Barges. And I did have a little bit of a hiccup during the filling. Uh, apparently that the converter that I put on it, even though it was an international uh, converter, it wasn't really working with this pen, so I uh, went back to an actual Schneider converter and it's a much tighter fit in here and uh, works better. With uh, this converter, basically what was happening, um, the pen was very slowly leaking. So even though this is a um, basically international uh, converter and I've used that on other pens without an issue for whatever reason on the Schneider fountain pen does it seems to want to work so if you do buy this pen and you plan to use a converter stick with the Schneider converter other than that no issues cleaning it up was actually very nice I was a little bit concerned about those ridges in there I thought that they might hold a lot of ink in there but actually there was absolutely no issue so this is the Schneider BK 406 fountain pen. The uh, nib actually feels very interesting. It will almost gives me the feeling of uh, a pencil. The line is very nice, very fine, and uh, perfect. Almost feels like a mechanical pencil. A little bit of a noise on it, but uh, I would say for drawing and sketching, I think it's the perfect kind of noise that you want to let you know that the pen is in contact with the paper. And uh, on reverse, same line, seems like it, yeah. And uh, a little bit scratchier, but still no issue. Seems to uh, put on the line very nice.
All right, the nib seems to work very nice. Um, like I mentioned, a little bit noisy, not necessarily scratchy, but the line is definitely a nice extra fine line. And just gliding on the paper, again, no issue, lies down ink very nicely. Almost feels like this pen was built for sketching. I like it. No line variety, variation to speak of, you just put more ink on the paper only because you push on it, but definitely not a flex uh, by uh, any stretch. One thing that I noticed is uh, as I was writing, the way I was holding it was somewhere in here, but as I was paying, uh, pressing a little bit on it just to see how it feels, seems to be a little bit of play between the section and the barrel and this is actually tightened pretty nicely so i think if you have a heavier hand and you press on it you'll feel that and you'll be annoyed by it however um, gentle normal pressure doesn't seem to be, uh, to be an issue not sure if this is just on my copy or on all of them but i guess something to be aware of and uh, well with that said I guess uh, I'll try and go and do a sketch of this thing. Hopefully we'll get something interesting and um, I'll let you know my final thoughts uh, on this uh, fountain pen. Today's drawing turned out quite interesting, at least from my opinion. I'm not sure what it is, but I like it. The more and more I use this uh, scribble style for drawing, the more and more I fall in love with it. I think I might have found my style of drawing. Well, at least for now, I guess. I uh, really enjoy it. I like how organic the results are in the end and how you can slowly build uh, values. And at the same time, keeping me relaxed and not to worry about proportions and other similar things since everything gets so loose. The fountain pen worked out perfectly without any issues, especially with the sink and uh, no ink flow issues and uh, well, I was able to control it as I wanted and needed. In the end, I think I like to use it uh, posted on drawing, especially for this uh, scribble style of drawing and uh, I like to use it unposted for writing. I don't know why, but uh, I find it more comfortable when it's unposted for writing. Probably because it feels lighter. I don't know. Anyway, getting into it. What do I like about this Schneider BK406 fountain pen? Personally, I really, really like the simplicity it has and the design of it. Even though it might fall short in a few areas and uh, might not suit everyone. I'm usually not big on transparent or translucent fountain pens, but this one, for whatever reason, I like. Especially the colors they come in. It has a pleasant nib, a um, little bit scratchy on the verse, but works fairly well on normal side of it. Simple, kind of a cool and functional clip, pose very securely and deep. And as an extra bonus, I guess, uh, the cap inner liner can be removed for easy cleaning if needed. Is um, there anything that I dislike about it? Well, I guess the first thing would be no converter included. And again, this comes from a company that builds decent converters. The other thing that doesn't bother me, but some people might find it annoying, it is maybe a little bit on the thin side. For me, maybe that's one of the reasons that I like, because it feels like a pencil in hand. But then again, not everybody is me, like usual. I must say though that uh, the section is not as comfortable as the previous uh, Schneider that I have uh, reviewed. The other thing will be the lip on the barrel. A little bit sharp on my copy and as such it might not be comfortable depending on your hand position. Personally, I actually didn't even notice it as I was drawing. But then again, as you probably noticed, I was holding the pen quite high in order to have some uh, loose hand and loose line. So again, not an issue from my perspective based on how I use that, but depending on your ha hand grip, um, you 
might hate it a little bit. And lastly, not really a defect I guess, but um, I would recommend to stick with an actual Schneider converter if you're planning to use one for it, since my other international converter that I tried to use doesn't seem to be a good fit. Even though I did use that specific converter on other on-demands without any issues. Overall, I think this is a beautiful pen in its own way and uh, it can be a great starter or student fountain pen, but it does come with its own little quirks. At least my copy did. I have no issues recommending it, but as everything, not everyone might like uh, some, some of its features. So my recommendation in the end will be to try it out if you can before you purchase it or if you do purchase it, purchase it from a place where you can return it uh, if by any chance it will not be a good match for you. And this is where I stop uh, talking and uh, let you enjoy the rest of the time lapse, whatever is left out of it. If you have any other questions like usual, leave a comment below and I will try and do my best to get to it as soon as I can. Thank you kindly for joining me today, hope I'll see you next time, and I wish you all the best and a wonderful day or night, wherever you are. Take care. Bye.